Good morning, class seven. Welcome back to your biology classroom once again. Hope all of you watched the last video. Today I am going to start chapter four, classification of animals. So let's start the chapter. In the previous chapter, you have studied the general classification of living organism. You have also studied the five kingdom classification. In this chapter, you will learn about the kingdom Animalia. We see many animals around us. All animals, including humans, belong to the kingdom Animalia. Though all animals differ in many respects, they show same common characteristics. Animals cannot make their own food. They depend on plants and other animals for their food. Thus, they are called heterotrophs. As because animals are not able to produce their own food, for food they depend upon plants or other animals. That's why they are also known as heterotrophs. Most animals move one place to another. They have special organ for locomotion. All animals stop growing after a certain period of time. On the basis of presence or absence of backbone, animals are classified into two major groups. So, basis of the presence or absence of backbone, basically animals are classified into two major groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals with the backbone are called vertebrates. Animals without backbone are called invertebrates. Matlab, those who have pauses the <coughs> vertebral column, I mean the spinal cord, they are vertebrates. And animals without backbone, they are also known as invertebrates. Most animals we see around us are vertebrates. However, about 97% of all animals on earth are invertebrates. The differences between vertebrates and invertebrates are given in table 4.1. So, look at the difference first. Vertebrates. They have an internal skeleton. They don't have any internal skeleton. In case of vertebrates, backbone is present. Backbone means spinal cord, vertebral column. Invertebrate means they have no backbone. Heart is on the ventral side of the body. Matlab, side ka left ki taraf, heart situated. But in case of invertebrates, heart is on the dorsal side of the body. Matlab, right ki taraf, situated. Andar ki taraf, nerve cord is hollow and present on the dorsal side of the body. Nerve cord is hollow. In case of vertebrates, nerve cord is hollow and present on the dorsal side of the body. In vertebrates, nerve cord is solid. In, verte <coughs> in vertebrates, ke andar, normally nerve cord jo hai, ho solid hai and located on the ventral side of the body. Matlab, bahari ki taraf situated. They have two pairs of links. In case of invertebrates, they have three or more pairs of leaves, if any required. So, what is the basic difference? In case of vertebrates, they possess a proper internal skeleton as well as with backbone. Same way, in case of invertebrates, they have any internal skeleton. They don't have any internal skeleton. I mean, backbone is absent there. Same way. Normally, in case of vertebrates, heart is on the ventral side of the body. Matlab, sarin ki, normally, <coughs> bai ki taraf. Or in case of heart, in vertebrates, heart is on the dorsal side of the body. So, next. In vertebrates, animals without vertebral column. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone. Most of them are soft-bodied, delicate animals. As they have no backbone, that's why their body loses the internal skeleton. As because they are soft-bodied, delicate animals. They are mostly found in water. Invertebrates show a wide diversity in their body structure and habits due to which they are broadly divided into eight major phyla. Porifera, Cilentareta or Nijaria, Platyhelminthes, Nematoda or <coughs> Ascalhelminthes, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca and Echinodermata. 
तो स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू लर्न द एट मेजर फाइला अंडर इनवर्टिव ब्रेड्स सो इनवर्टिव ब्रेड्स आर डिवाइडेड इनटू एट मेजर फाइला दे आर पॉरीफेरा सिलेंटोरेटा और निडारिया प्लैटी हेलमेंटिस नीमाटोडा और एस्केलमेंटिस एनिलीडा आर्थोपोडा मोलास्का एंड इकाइनोडार्माटा फर्स्ट फाइलम पॉरीफेरा बिलोंग स्पॉन्जेस पोरस पॉरीफेरा इट इज अ लैटिन वर्ड कम फ्रॉम पोरस पोरस मींस पोर पूरा बॉडी में बहुत ज्यादा ही पोर है फार मींस बियरिंग सो एक्चुअली व्हिच काइंड ऑफ व्हिच काइंड ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म पोजेस मेनी पोर्स अराउंड देयर बॉडी सरफेस देयर आर porifera sponges are mostly found in sea water however a few are found in the fresh water as well these animals have a large number of opening or pores on their body matlab body ki pura surface mein bahut zyada hi pore dikhai deta hai water containing oxygen and food enters the body cavity through these pores so body ke liye zarurat jo oxygen aur food particles enter through these openings There is also a large pore at the top from where the water passes out. Most sponges obtain food and oxygen and also remove waste material through constant water flow in their body. They don't move from one place to another. Most of them remain fixed to the floor of the sea. So basically porifera are not movable. They are fixed with the seaweed. examples porifera's are cycon leuco leucosolenedia or spongilla next phylum cilentarita or nidarians greek koilos means hollow or enteros means gut matlab living organism possess hollow gut their cilentarita or also known as nidarians start ho raha hai c se magar the pronunciation is nidarians not cinaridam not cinidarians pronunciation will be nidarians cilentarates have a radially symmetrical body that is the body can be divided vertically into two equal halves matlab body ko hum log हाफ हाफ पूरा हिस्सा में बांट सकते हैं मतलब डिवाइड कर सकते हैं लॉन्ग एनी प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू द सेंट्रल पॉइंट कोई भी पॉइंट से अगर काटेंगे पूरा बॉडी हाफ ऑफ सिमेट्रिकली हाफ ही होगा द बॉडी इज हॉलो ट्यूब लाइक एंड हैज ओनली वन ओपनिंग कॉल्ड माउथ पूरा सॉरी मतलब पूरा बॉडी जो है हॉलो है ट्यूब लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सिर्फ एक ही ओपनिंग है दैट इज माउथ mouth is surrounded by a number of finger like structures these are also known as tentacles so mouth is basically surrounded by thread like structure these are also known as tentacles the tentacles have sting <coughs> stinging cell called tenoblobast tenoblast that help them in एंकरिंग कैप्चरिंग फ्रे एंड इन सेल्फ डिफेंस बेसिकली टेंटाकल्स जो है निडियाडियम को हेल्प करता है नॉर्मली कोई जगह पर फिक्स रहने के लिए प्रे जो है उसको कैप्चर करने के लिए और सेल्फ डिफेंस मतलब खुद को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए दैट इज दैट्स वाई दे आर कॉल्ड निडारियंस निडारियंस लिटरली मीन्स स्टिंगिंग क्रिएचर मतलब जिसका एक जो स्टिंग है जिसके द्वारा कोई एक जगह पर फिक्स रह सकता है they are found in aquatic mostly marine habitat either stuck to the rocks or floating in water so basically marine or living organism stuck to the rocks rock ke sath pura <coughs> attached rehta hai or floating in water example of cilentarids are hydra and jellyfish coral and sea anemone so student you will learn just most bold letter only no need to learn all these points and example last must so hope all of you understood so for today up to this portion